an unusual election victory. An East Bay man put his name on the ballot for his local school board, but then he had second thoughts. KPI X5's John Ramos on the reluctant candidate who actually won. And victory is at There were times in this election when it seemed candidates would say or do anything to win. And then there's Brian Lawrence, who did absolutely nothing. I filled out the paperwork, but had a long conversation with my wife and family and had decided I wasn't going to run again, but I was still on the ballot. Brian works at a tech startup in San Francisco, but he also sits on the Mount Diablo School District Board in Concord. He decided to quit his re-election bid because his kids were sick of it, and he really can't stand campaigning anyway. Kind of feels like you're a teenager. You, you keep strange hours, you're going, you, you eat really poorly, and you're always asking people for money. So when others put up signs, Brian didn't. And his campaign website still says, coming soon. But when the votes were counted, guess who was one of the winners? I, I didn't have any doubt that if I campaigned, I would win. I didn't think that if I didn't campaign, I would win. So that, that part surprised me. It surprised his wife, too, in the kitchen the next morning. And she looks at me and she says, wow. And I say, wow. And then my son goes, today is my birthday. And we both look at him and we go, happy birthday. Like I said, kids have a way of putting things in perspective. So now that Brian's been elected, the question is, will he serve? Listen up, because we're breaking news here. And so I decided that um, I will go ahead and serve for the next four years. Maybe it's the power of incumbency or just that he's such a nice guy. But it seems the voters have decided that the best man for the job is a guy who really doesn't want it. Kind of makes you wonder where he would be now if he had decided not to run for a different office. In San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX 5. One step at a time, okay? Brian says he, he actually lost the first time he ran to a retired teacher who also did not campaign and spent most of the election season in Hawaii.